So welcome to a practice this morning in which together we will flow into the new year. And in this practice, we'll do some work with the begin again or begin a new concept. And I'll start with inviting three sounds of the bell. So make your way down to a comfortable position. You can be in child's pose or just sit seated in Sukhasana, legs crossed, or any posture that feels restorative to you. Could be even waterfall pose with your legs up against the wall. And I'll invite in three sounds of the bell to help us transition onto the mat, a settling in. Feel your in-breath entering through your nostrils. And bring your awareness to your out-breath. your own natural breath rhythm. And in this gentle practice together, honor your body, whatever it needs most. We'll enjoy the symbolism that a new year brings to us. We'll let go of the things that we don't wish to carry forward. And we'll remember that actually every minute can be a tiny new year in our life. Welcome. Our affirmation today is, I flow with ease. So you can repeat that if it resonates with you out loud or just in your mind's eye. I flow with ease. Let yourself fill and empty. with your inhale and your exhale. The expansion in your chest as the air comes in. And the release of all that doesn't serve you as you exhale. And as you find a comfortable place to rest your physical form, I'll share a reading by Thich Nhat Hanh. Every morning when we wake up, we should be able to be aware that a new day is offered to us to live. A 24 brand new hours day is being offered to us to live. It would be a pity if we were not capable of receiving the gift of life every morning. You may like to organize so that in the morning, at the very time you wake up, you are aware that a new day begins and you have ways in order to prepare yourself to welcome that new day. You know that the sun is very faithful. The earth is very faithful. Every morning when we wake up, the earth is there for us. The sun is there for us. They never miss the appointment. They are always there for you. Look at the earth, look at the sun, and look at the sky. 
touch them deeply and touch yourself deeply so that you be able to learn how to behave like the earth, how to behave like the sun, how to behave like the sky. If the earth is available to us, if the sun is available to us, if the sky is available to us each morning, then we should make ourselves available to them also. Use your intelligence, your talent of organization, so every morning when you wake up, you can be aware that a new day, a 24 brand new hours day is being offered to you and you are ready to welcome it. You promise to live it fully, deep with peace, with joy, and with appreciation. So as we enter into a new year, we have this brand new day. And actually we have this brand new minute to begin again. And let's, with our next inhale, enjoy the sound of OM that we can make, very similar to the vibration of the bell. And start to stimulate the vagus nerve, which runs from the back of our head or our neck all the way down through our body. It's interconnected, largest set of nerves. So with our inhale, we will breathe in and then we will say OM together and we'll do that three times. Really just feel the yumminess of that vibration through your body. Inhaling. Oh. Again, inhale. Fill. Inhaling. Um. And I notice for some of you, you have animals joining you because they're actually sensing and feeling that wonderful energy that's emanating from your body. And we'll start by washing away any inner worries that we have, things that we want to let go of from either the moments before we have arrived here or even from this past year. So take your arm, the forearm, and bring it across your forehead and just let your hand and your arm wash across your forehead and the other arm. And you can try the outer forearm or the inner and see how that feels to just wash across the eyebrows with your fingertips. A gentle stroking motion Activating the pineal gland that is between the eyebrows and softening the worry lines of the forehead. Maybe a small smile starts to come across your lips as you stroke and wash away any worries that you have. And just be here now. Let's clench and unclench our fists. So make tight balls with your fists and then open your fingers wide and clench and unclench. And let's do that also with our 
shoulders. So bring your shoulders up to your ears, the tension rising, and then whew, let that go. Let the worries wash off your back and off your shoulders and up you rise and release. Your inhale, bringing your shoulders up and your exhale, releasing. Very nice. Let's do that with our face muscles as well. So clench your face, squinch it, furrow, and then release. And again, tightening the muscles of your face and letting that go once more. And release, very nice. And we'll do a seated cat cow today to take a little pressure off of our knees. Often we do cat cow on our knees, so you're welcome to do that variation if you prefer. But we'll do this seated. And if your legs have been uncrossed, reverse your cross so that the opposite foot is in front. And then cross your arms as well. And as we inhale, we're going to scoop the spine and gently raise our chin, not too far because we wanna be gentle on the back of the neck, but feel your pelvis rocking forward with your inhale. And then exhale, round your spine and lower your chin and inhale to your own breath rhythm. Bringing in fresh newness like a flower and exhaling. Pressing out any stale energies, any old habit energies that we don't wish to carry forward and inhaling. Rocking on the spine, the pelvis feeling the deliciousness in the hips as they open and exhaling and continue this to the rhythm of your own breath very nice and let's release that and sweep up with our arms and Hinge at the hips, coming forward. So keep your chin pointing forward, not allowing a, 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 a rounding of the spine just yet. And then let your fingertips touch the earth and settle forward in your hips, letting yourself hinge forward with your nose and your chin guiding you forward into the new year. Ignore your ego that wishes to bring the nose and the forehead down to the ground and keep yourself in this elongated position with your crown stretching forward. Breathe into the sensation in your body. Relax your fingers if they were tented. And relax the muscles around your eyes. And gently come back to seated and switch the cross of your legs. And we'll do that again, rising up drawing in all that we wish to carry forward and flowing down towards the ground, fingers reaching, hinging forward into this moment, into this day, into this new year. Wiggle your tongue around in your mouth to release the muscles of your jaw.
and breathe into the sensation in your hips. Relax your upper back. Soften your gaze. And now start to come back to a seated position. And let's bring our hands behind our backs into a bind. So we're still sitting. I'm gonna just show you I am clasping my fingers together if possible. If this is inaccessible, you can hold a dish rag or a strap between your hands. And let's butterfly our legs. So our feet are touching now. Inhale and lift up through the crown and start to come forward just ever so slightly. Pressing your shoulder blades back. Relax the back of your neck. Soften your gaze. And breathe into the sensation in your body. And relax your un 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 unclasp your hands and bring your hands to the soles of your feet. And if you have socks on, you can take them off. And let your thumbs find the joint, the inner soles of your feet, and just massage up and down. or wherever it feels good on your feet. Maybe it's your Achilles. Maybe it's the tops of your feet. Let your hands explore and massage out any tension that you brought to your practice that are in your feet. These precious feet that ground us to the earth and that carry us forward on our journeys. Let's come to seated and just pause for a moment and notice how you feel. Ask yourself how you can flow with more ease into the new year. We're going to introduce Garuda Mudra, which means eagle. Outstretch your legs forward, and if you're, if the base of your body is getting a little stiff from all this, the sitting, maybe put a, a pillow or a little blanket under your sits bones to lift you forward. We're in Dandasana, staff pose. Our feet. Our toes are pointing up towards the sky. The gaze is soft. And Garuda Mudra looks like eagle wings. So take your hands and open your fingers wide and place your right hand over your left hand. And then just let your thumbs interlock. I will come closer so you can see. This is a lovely mudra. And you have a couple options here. You can bring this mudra to your lower belly. Garudra mudra can help with digestion and bring out some of the staleness or the lethargy that might be in our digestive region. So you can bring this to your lower belly if you wish, or if you feel like you want to open more of your heart or throat chakra, you can bring Garudra Mudra up there too. I see more beloved animals joining us for this practice. So bring your eagle wings up or down 
the center of your body until you find a place that feels just right. And then let your eagle wings rest there and close your eyes for a moment. This can invoke inspiration within you and help balance the air or vata dosha from Ayurvedic traditions. Vata can become out of balance and make you feel a little lethargic or irritable. And just let your breath move all the way down through your body. Draw in a current of energy or breath through the top of your crown and let it come down through your physical form and then exit out through your feet. And let's let the eagle soar. So bringing our arms up to the sky and then letting that flow down and outwards. Very nice. Let's open and close our toes. Letting our feet be unconstricted, resting from the tightness of shoes. And point and flex your toes, feeling the muscles of the legs open all the way. And now let's straighten up to Dandasana or staff pose and sweep our arms up, inhaling to the possibilities that come in the new year and exhaling out anything that we wish to release as we fold forward. Your hands will rest gently somewhere between your knees and the tops of your toes. See if you can quiet the ego, telling you that your hands or fingers should be anywhere different than where they are. Try to let go of yesterday's pose and be here now with your beautiful body, however it is showing up. And let's let our hands come across our legs and sweep up again and fold. Lengthening through the hamstrings, letting the back of the neck and all the muscles around your eyes relax. Breathe into the sensation in your body and once more rising up and sweeping up, inhaling and folding forward. Excellent. Each time there might be micro movements, a little bit more forwards the hamstrings starting to awaken. And let's be conscious as we flow and move back to a seated position and shake that all out and stomp your feet and wiggle your body in however it needs. Tap your legs, wake up your lymphatic system Feel your earth connection and plant your feet firmly. Very nice. 
bring your left leg down in front and engage through the heel, flexing your left foot and bring your right foot over your left foot, making a figure four. Cradle your right foot in your left hand. And this might be enough right here. Or if you wish for more, you can inhale and rise up through the crown, lengthening, and then you can start to hinge forward. Again, keeping your spine straight so we're not curling the shoulders. We're lengthening through the chin. Breathing here. And if you wish for a little bit more, you can bring your right foot into the crook of your left arm and create a hip baby. But be very tender with your body and see whether this is accessible in this moment. And know that even if it's not accessible in this moment, it might be in another moment on another day or at a different time. And if you found your hip baby, you can gently roll that out. But again, if you're feeling any pain, then this is not for you. So tune into your body and see how it feels and what it needs in this moment. And pause wherever there's yumminess. And now gently either start to bring your right foot down or start to unhinge and bring your right leg near your left leg and point and flex your feet. Deep inhale and let that go. And we'll do the left side. So left foot comes up to the ground, right heel engages and right foot now is, is flexed, toes pointing towards the sky. Take your left foot in your right hand and gently bring it over if, if this works for you, bring it over your right thigh muscle. And maybe start to hinge forward a tiny bit in figure four, keeping both feet engaged. So if possible, flex both feet and you can rub your thumb along the arch of the left foot. Gaze is soft. Our bodies are asymmetrical, so each side will be different. Breathe into your hamstrings. And then if you wish, take your left foot and bring it to the crook of your right arm. Again, remembering that each side will be different. And if you can, or want to try a little hip baby, a little gentleness. We're not shaking this beautiful hip or moving it quickly. We're going very slowly and trying different positions and seeing what feels best. Keeping the right foot engaged. We store lots of emotions in our hips. So you may notice a connection between days where your hips are more tender or tight and maybe a day that you need to cradle your emotions like this baby.
Let's come to stillness and gently bring our left foot down and then return our left leg by our right leg. Again, wiggling out, tapping, awakening, tuning in. We'll do a seated twist. So bring our right foot up to the ground, our right knee is bent. And bring the right foot over the left extended leg. Straighten through the spine and wrap opposite arm around, so left arm wraps around our right knee, or it's really the right shin right below the knee. Lengthen through the crown and raise your right arm to the sky. Deep inhale, bring your right hand behind your back and look over your right hip. No need to crane the neck. No need to look back at last year in this moment. We're looking forward over the right hip into the new year. Deep breaths, ring out old habit energies from your spine. Feel your earth sky connection sky through the crown of the head elongating and earth through the sacrum or your sits bones and soften your gaze and start to unfurl or come back to the center bringing left leg down, right leg down gently by your left leg. Left foot comes up, so your knee is bent and your foot is near the center of your body. Elongate your spine and bring your left foot over the right leg, flexing the foot of the right leg. And now wrap your right arm around the shin, right below the knee. And breathe in. Raising left arm to the sky. Around the back it comes and then let your chin move with your spine over to the left. So now our gaze is soft over our left hip. Breathe into the sensation in your body. Soften your hand and your fingers. Soften in your right shoulder blade. Ring out your spine like a dish rag. And now let your chin lead you back to the center. Very nice. And we're going to make an L position with our legs. So our left leg can stay pointed straight and our right leg can start to come out to the side. And just let your body be where it, it is. So this might be a wider L or a more narrow L. Bring your right palm up to the sky and then place it on the inside of your right shin or calf. And raise your left arm up and now flow 
into the new year over to the right side. Opening left side body, left ribs. Keep your chin aligned with your hands and the arm. And breathe. And now come back to the center and point your right leg forward and open the hip, making an L. Pretty much a 90 degree angle with the legs, if possible. And now bring your left palm open over onto the inner calf of the of the left leg raise your right arm and arch over flowing into the new year opening through the right side body relax the muscles of your jaw and open back up. And we'll swing our legs around and come to table. So from here, you might want to place a um, blanket under your knees. If you have been eating more sweets, you may notice a little bit more inflammation in your body. So the knees might be a little more tender this week during the holidays. Tap your tops of your feet to the ground. Open your finger pads wide. Wrists are under elbows or under shoulders. The knees are under hips. Press into the earth with your hands and press your shoulders down away from your ears, feeling strength in the core of your body. And let's raise our right arm up with our breath and just start to scoop it under. We're going to end up in threading the needle, but we're not gonna go down there just yet. So lengthening up with the right hand and then scooping through that center hole between left hand and knee. And this time, raise up, inhale. And as you scoop through, see if you can come down gently onto your right temple. And then see if you can raise your left arm forward. This is called threading the needle. It's a wonderful posture for opening the upper channels of the back and stretching. Sometimes we get knots underneath the shoulder blades. Mm, feel the yumminess. See if you can draw your breath to that curve of your left shoulder blade. And take your left arm and see if you can stretch it around your back in a bit of a bind, opening the left shoulder. So our left hand is now kind of tucked into that little crook between the hip and the thigh. And bring your left hand down by your face and gently pull your right shoulder out and come back to table. And we'll repeat that on the other side.
So we'll raise our left hand. I'm going to turn to be, I was trying to switch directions, but then I realized that I get confused as to which arm we just did. So I'm going to stay put. I'm going to raise our left arm up to the sky and then gently start to bring it through just a little bit and inhaling flowing up and exhaling flowing through and this time inhaling and exhaling through the hole between the right hand and the knees and now bring the right arm, if possible, bring that over, stretching over your head. And feel the opening in the left shoulder. Breathe into that space that you've created underneath your left shoulder blade. And maybe you want to breathe into your right shoulder too. And if you wish to introduce the bind, you can bring your right hand to your back. This side might be different. opening the right shoulder. Feeling the earth connecting to your left temple. And bring your right hand by your face and very slowly and gently come out and back to table. And now open your knees wide. You can keep the blanket underneath your, your legs, but press your feet to the back so that they come off a little bit. And press forward into child's pose. If this is accessible to you, you can bring your forehead down to the earth. And if knees open is too intense, you can bring your knees together and tuck your hands by your sides in a fetal curl. And if your knees are feeling really tender today and balasana or child's pose is not accessible at all, come to your back and just Bring your legs up a little bit and let yourself rest and melt into the earth. So child's pose is, an, is a restorative pose, but it's actually not a pose of sukha or ease. And it is hard on our bodies sometimes for that to feel good. So don't be fooled that it says child's pose, so that means it's easy. It's actually wonderful for your body from a restorative posture asana but it's uh it can be not always accessible breathe here and enjoy whatever form your body has chosen to take in this moment and the fact that you're being gentle and kind and loving to your body and choosing what is best for you, that is the sweetest spot of yoga. Treat your body with self-compassion. And now let's start to roll forward. So we're coming onto our bellies. And we'll press, I'm going to keep the blanket beneath my hips. 
And I'm going to just start in Sphinx pose. So I'm balancing on my forearms and I'm opening Anahata, my heart center, feeling the lower back. Mm, so nice. Or if this is too intense, you could just be down on your belly in crocodile with your elbows pointed out. And you could just be lying flat and letting yourself melt into the earth. And let's bring our hands by our chest and do some baby cobra bhujangasana. So rising up gently and then lowering down. Rising up with our inhale and flowing down. And once more. And now tuck your toes under. And if you can, rise up to downward facing dog. So at this point, you'll want to move your blanket to the side if you're using a blanket. And if you have wrist or shoulder sensitivity, you can do downward facing dog against the wall. So you can still get some wonderful benefits by placing your hands against a wall, preferably a flat wall. I don't have that right here. And still feeling the opening in the upper back and the stretching along the hamstrings. Whatever dog you're in, come to stillness and breathe here. Crisscross your legs and come to a standing forward pose, Uttanasana. And let's bring our left hand in front of our face and open our right arm with our inhale and switch to the other side. Right hand in front of our face and left arm opens. Standing forward fold, our knees are bent generously. And we'll start to rise up and bring our hands over our head and raise them down. Very nice. And we'll do eagle standing pose and you can do this seated or standing. And then we'll start to come down to the ground. So we did Garuda Mudra earlier, and you can do just this if this feels best for you. Or if you would like to test your balance, Eagle Pose is we bring our left arm up and over to the center, and our right arm comes under. And it's really a twisting of the hands and the arm. If your shoulders are very tight, you may want to just wrap your hands around your shoulders at this point. Or you can have your palms together. And this might be enough. If you wish, you can squat down a little bit in a seated Utkatasana or chair pose and getting a little strength in your quadricep or thigh muscles. Or if you'd like to add on, you can balance on your left foot and bring your right leg over the left, making a similar cross and then sit down into eagle. Garudasana.
Bring your shoulders forward and then see if you can fold your eagle down. So all of this can be done seated as well. And now open your eagle wings and let that side go. Shake it out. And we'll repeat on the other side. Again, so many variations. Right leg is strengthened. Left leg can come up and around. Maybe you just wish to try the legs. Or maybe you wish to also do the arms. Right arm comes up, left arm comes up. They come to the center. And this is actually really challenging to do it backwards. Left arm comes around right arm. I don't think I've ever tried to do eagle from the legs up to the arms before. Find a drishti, something not moving. If you're looking at me and seeing me wobble all over the place, that will definitely throw your balance and sit down into whatever version of eagle you have. So it might be arms are just crossed around shoulders. Remember the wobbling on the mat is good to learn how to wobble in life. If the leg crosses too much, you can also balance on your big toe. And let's let that go and just shake out. Eagle representing freedom and liberation. And we'll open our legs wide into wide legged straddle. And that can be anywhere that feels good to your body. So as wide or as narrow as feels good to you. And we're gonna do a little bit more of the bind. So let's bring our hands behind our back. You may be using a strap or holding onto a little towel. If you had a sock nearby, you can even improvise with the sock and use that. No need for fancy props. You can just make do. But focus on opening your heart center, your chest, and then start to flow and hinge forward. Maybe raising your arms above your head. The fingers will start to open and lift. Breathe into the back hamstrings. Rising your arms up a tiny bit more. Letting your worry list roll down your back and off the top of your head and plunk onto the floor. Let the earth receive all that you no longer need as we come into this new year. And let's release our arms and let them run down the sides of our legs and come over to the right in Skandasana. Opening the hips and over to the left. And back to center. Heel toe your feet in. 
until you come to Malasana or a squat and your squat may be up on your toes that's just fine or you may be back on your heels no judgment wherever your squat is it's just the right place and breathe into your hips and unfold your arms. We'll come to seated and start to roll our way back onto our spines. Feet are flat to the ground, knees are bent. Bring your fingertips to the backs of your heels and we're going to raise up with our pelvis creating a bridge from the old year to the new year and raise your hips down this time inhaling with your arms over your head reaching out to the possibilities in the new year and exhaling all that we don't wish to carry forward. Inhaling to new brand newness. And exhaling down. And this time draw your knees in towards your chest and either hold on to the fronts of your shins or if, if you can clasp outer elbows but press the back of your head flat to the ground and press your tailbone down loving what your body can do for you i flow with ease And when you're ready, you're going to find your Shavasana. Maybe placing your socks back on your body. Maybe putting a blanket over you and tucking a pillow underneath your knees. But finding yourself a comfortable resting position for the very, very end. Your hands can be outstretched by your body or they can be connecting one hand to heart and one hand to belly. If you wish, close your eyes and let your body melt into the earth. Now close out our practice with a poem from Thich Nhat Hanh in the book, Call Me By My True Names called 24 Brand New Hours. 24 Brand New Hours. Waking up this morning, I see the blue sky. I join my hands in thanks for the many wonders of life, for having 24 brand new hours before me. The sun is rising. The forest becomes my awareness, bathed in the sunshine. I walk across a field of sunflowers. Tens of thousands of flowers are turned toward the bright east. My awareness is like the sun. My hands are sowing seeds for the next harvest. My ear is filled with the sound of the rising tide. In the magnificent sky, clouds are approaching with joy from many directions. I can see the frag fragrant lotus palms of my homeland. I can see coconut trees along the rivers. I can see rice fields stretching, stretching, laughing at the sun and rain. 
Mother Earth gives us coriander, basil, celery, and mint. Tomorrow, the hills and mountains of the country will be green again. Tomorrow, the buds of life will spring up quickly. Folk poultry, folk poetry will be as sweet as the songs of children. And start to wiggle your fingers and toes and come back to a seated position. And if you wish, bringing right hand over left hand in Garuda Mudra, maybe over the center of our hearts. Take a deep, nourishing breath. And release your ego up to the sky. And I'll close our practice together with two sounds of the bell. And may you flow with ease into this new year. Namaste. Thank you for this practice together. Thank you.